the narrative of Jesus Christ in the Quran is not authentic. It's false. Don't you get your own space. Don't you get it? Because what we are debating about is not. No, it's not true. You see. You need to get your own thing. No, this thing is not true. When well, Islam gone. came, Jesus has come to this world and is gone. Okay. And yes. all so what can we say about who's the father of someone? 600 years you said revelation. Why did it Why are you talking in a year? This is a review when it's not Let's already made manifest. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. So, I can't stand in front of them, can I? No, no, no. no they're praying on the other side. So when we talk about the father of someone, what we say, it was a miraculous creation of the birth of Christ for a reason. God created human beings in four different combinations. I'll just tell you how this is important to understand as human beings. He created Adam from no father and from no mother. Yeah. He created you and me. Out of the dust to the earth. Yes, from no father and no mother. That's one combination. Yeah, but through the he word created. Of God. God, he, in my religion, yes. God created Adam through the word, and the word is Jesus. But God created without a father and mother. That's what we agree on. Adam through had no father and no mother. So when God created you and me, we were created through our father and our mother, right? Yeah, yeah. So we had father and a mother. So we have yeah, two. Yeah. So we, out of the four combination, Adam, peace be upon him, no father, no mother. You and I, we have father and mother. Eve is not created from a mother, but he came from a man, which is from like a father, right? So if you, if you think about it now, about if you were to rephrase our understanding of how God creates human beings, he creates from a male and a female, yeah. or he from none of them. Jesus. Please, you, you will appreciate yeah, the, yeah, okay. the majesty and the power of God. So Adam, from no male and no female. You and me, from a male and a female. Yeah. From Eve, from a male. And from Jesus, what's left? Well, from a female. So God is the... Listen, yeah. Do you agree? He is the father. Yeah. So do you agree, out of the four possible ways of bringing human beings into existence, from male and a female, God has demonstrated all four possible ways of creating. Demonstrating his power, his might, his majesty, that he is indeed a mighty God. Yeah. So that is all when he was born, only from Miriam. This was an evidence to the children of Israel. At that time, that God is so powerful, he can bring, he can yes, bring, because I tell you what, this let me human being is from bit. all four Could different combinations. In a while, let me explain my bit. Yeah. Jesus is with God in heaven, and he sends him to earth in the Virgin Mary. Behold, you will have a son, and you will call him Jesus. And because no man begot him, the word of God became flesh and dwelt among us, and the word of God came into Mary's womb. So that makes Jesus. Um, that makes Jesus the son of God because he wasn't a son of man it wasn't um, a man did not go into Mary to produce a child the Holy Spirit did the Holy Spirit is the father the Holy Spirit we've got the father son and the Holy Spirit I believe just that. to now clarify then well, let me start again Don't let me the Holy me. Spirit overshadowed Mary yes. so Holy Spirit is the father we've got the father son and the Holy Spirit no, Jesus as father is the Holy our... Spirit now because you know what, a human begets a human, a cow begets a cow, yeah. God begets God. Is that, is that meaningless or meaningful? That means to me that, uh, that Jesus is the Son of God you, because he wasn't born of a man. God begetting God, does that have a meaning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it have a meaning? Yes, read John What does it mean one. when you say the God begets the word, God? The word was with God. Yeah. And it also said that Jesus is the begotten Son of God. So if the Jesus, only begotten. You see, that's in the this line of reasoning, I want to understand yeah, something a bit more. Yeah, if you can explain. Just, let's explain. Um, it says in, the, in John's Gospel, I haven't got my Bible with me, that Jesus is the only begotten Son of God. Okay, so he's now, not God, but the Son of God. He's the only begotten. There's never yeah, yeah. going to be another one. Sure. There wasn't one before the others were created. But Jesus was begotten, like a cow begets a cow, yeah. a human begets a human, a God begets God. Right. And that's what Jesus was, the holy right. begotten Son of God. And it was also the Word of God, it was with God in the beginning, the Word was, became flesh. Because you know what, God created the world as well through Jesus, which is the Word. And I think somewhere, what, what do you mean he's the word up, of God? I think somewhere in the Quran it says that. What Jesus does it mean he's the word of God? Would you mind because explaining a bit I further? I explain that. Yeah. Because um, Jesus created the, the, 
the world by speaking his word. No. Now, but Jesus, is, Jesus the word. is the word of yes, God. Jesus is so the let's word. understand something. God is a being who exists always yes. and he speaks. Yes. So his speech is Jesus. Jesus. Yes. So everything that God speaks is it's Jesus. Yes. So when Jesus took on a body, yeah. So God can no longer speak anymore because now yes, his, his speech has become a body and Jesus speaks and he yes, can't speak anymore. He communicated with him while he was on earth through no, prayer. No. God, his speech has now become flesh, as John says. Yeah. And the word became flesh. Yeah. If the word is now become flesh, remember, God's word is no longer his word anymore. This is flesh. So God cannot speak anymore because the speech that he had has become flesh. So how does God speak anymore? Yeah, well, they, they communicate with each other and God But his word, speak. no, he can't speak anymore. His word has become flesh. Yeah, because he's still got the, it's the, it's the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. They all work together. You see, he, do you believe the word of God is God? Yeah, but I believe that the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit can all speak. Fine. Do you believe the word of God is God also, right? Yes. Right. So you believe the Torah, which is the word of God, is actually God? Well... I don't believe that uh, uh, the Torah, you see, I believe that the scriptures were inspired by the Holy Spirit. No, when God spoke the Torah, or he wrote down the Ten Commandments. Oh yeah, the Ten Commandments. Is that God? Yeah, he wrote with the finger. No, no, no. The Ten Commandments themselves, which is the yes. speech of God. Yes, yes. Those commandments are actually God. No, like the, Bi the Bible is the word of God, right? And that's God. Yes, it is the word of God. But, but it's God. obviously it isn't flesh. But is, is it God though? It's is it God? It's God's inspired word. No. So the, the Torah or the commandments that God spoke, it's God. Well, it's inspired by God. No, no, no. Remember what you no, said. We need to we need to we need to understand when you say the word of God is See, God. Away from the we need to be consistent. Do you Jesus. agree? Well, let's Do you agree we need to be consistent? Jesus being born by the virgin. According to Jesus, do you know who's, who he said who God was? Why don't you believe that Jesus was born of a virgin, that he was a son of God? No, I just told you, we believe he was born of a virgin, so and God he, was so his creator. Is his God? It's his creator. God created Mary, and God created Jesus. So, according to Jesus, this is something that we need to really no, come God. in common terms with. According to Jesus, do you know who he thought God was? The only God. No, he says there is only one being who is only God, and only true God. In John 17, 3, Jesus says that they should know that you are the only true God. So yeah. according to well, Jesus, the only true God, remember, only means yeah. not money, not more. Well, he was with God and he came one, down. One second, one second. When you said Jesus is the only begotten Son of God, there is no other begotten Son of God, yeah. right? Right. So only means but the we exception. we can become children of God if no. we come to Christ. You, you are not the only begotten Son of God. According he to was, Jesus. He was the first Good. And only so when you explain according to John 3:16, the first one to be called the son of God because we can so also according to your under, your your we can become your sons of God by um, by coming into his So according um, to what you understand, the only begotten son means only. It's not another one. It's not two or three or four or five. In that case, in that case, he came to no, do, do you agree on that consistency? Bring a new in that sense, excuse me, we came from over there to here, away from you, and you came still here. That's very rude. That's not a civilized behavior. Um, and, and, so when Jesus himself says, the Father, you are the only true God, can there be anyone else who is the only true God? I believe that there is one God. Now, can there be anyone else other than the Father who is the only true God? No, 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 no. Jesus didn't say. I believe in the Trinity. Do you believe in Jesus? Yeah. Jesus said the only true God is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. No, he didn't. No, yeah, he did. He said, if you've seen the Father, you've seen me. No, he didn't say that. He said, no. He said, the only true God. I am the Father. One what? In, in, one I what? I am the Father or one. One what? One and God? If you have seen me, no, one what? you have seen the Father. No, one what? One in spirit. No, one what? I am, you and I are one. No, we are two separate no. We are a group of human beings. We are one group. And we are fearfully and wonderfully so, made. And you know what? Right. So, Each individual is precious so when and you have perfect. And there's no other human being alive. Purpose. You, 
It's not with a human right. like you. No. So, I'm do you, not like you madam, because God has created us so beautifully. What, what's your name? My and name is Mansoor. What, what's your another. name? Pat, I'm Mansoor. It's, it's a pleasure speaking Jesus to you. Jesus loves us all. Pat, and he loves does God me, love us all? And he loves you. Does God love everyone? You are a wonderful human being. Does God love everyone? Blessed, and God loves you. Does God love everyone? Yes. So he loves the sinner? He loves, he loves Hitler? Sinner. He loves everybody. He loves the murderer? It's the sinner who turns their back on God, not the so, other way around. So does he love the murderer? No, the murderer said, I don't want you, God. No. He does loves, he love the murderer? Yes, he loves them. So he loves the rapist? He loves everyone. So when a rapist rapes, he loves them. If that person repents. No. If that person doesn't repent, he loves them. Well, he doesn't love the sin, but he will love his creation. I want to know whether God loves the rapist and the murderer and the oppressor and the evildoer. According to you, God loves them all indiscriminately. Well, you know what? If you, that is not really a very just God, is can it? Can I just ask you something? Yeah. You're a human being. Are you sure? You don't, <laughs> I am. You don't know what sin you're going to do in your life. One sin is as bad as another sin. They're no, all sin, they are. they're not equal. They are every sin against God. Are they equal? Turns is against him. Are, every, they, are they equal? A child stealing a lollipop and someone raping 100 well, women. No, do you think the, the, the crime no, is no, the no, same no, in the degree? The, no. But in the sight of God? Is, Jesus said there's not one without sin, not one. But That's we don't understand the grading of sin. Monsieur, so if, if a say, child steals a lollipop pack and someone rapes and murders, are these sins equivalent? No, because you know, what not, Jesus, you right? know but guess what Jesus said? I've come to die. I've come to take away your sin. He says, I cannot do myself do nothing. Because you know do you know what Jesus said? said? He, he says, said, I can of myself do nothing. No, he said, I can of myself do nothing. He came and died to make a new covenant. Just, just for to give us peace. Pat, just think Lord. about it for a second. He and said, take away. He said, He said, not one of you is without sin. You know when the woman had committed adultery? Yeah. He said, who's gonna, who's, whoever's without sin, stone her. Was he without sin? Why didn't he stone? Not one person could stone. Why did he not stone? Was he without sin? He's without sin. Why did he not stone? Because he didn't want to. He uh, loved uh, so because this he is, loved her. No, 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 no. You said, Anyone without a sin can stone, right? He was demonstrating that he didn't want anybody no, to no, do no. it. So he wasn't being very truthful in the no, Bible. No, no. Because Jesus, according to you, wasn't with a sin. So he could have stoned them. He was setting her free. Do you understand? Um, Jesus came to deliver us. So according to Jesus, deliver Pat. Deliver us from Pat, our sins Pat, on the cross. According to Jesus, the only true God, delivers us only true God is the Father. Sin, do you agree with Jesus? Pat, do you agree with Jesus? The only true God is the Father only? I believe the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit are one. No, no, that's what you believe. But according to Jesus, the only true God is the Father. Is it, as I he am, made it clear and the in Father are one. one what? In spirit and in substance. Did he not say it's also? Okay. Can I Father. give you can I give you something that perhaps Monsieur, change your understanding? Jesus came to this earth, born no, through the virgin, I would like to respond to your question about I am the Father of one. Yes. Jesus said, just like I am the Father of one. Yeah, yeah. I pray that you also can be one with us. Yes, through his so, covenant. So that means Absolutely. if Jesus and the Father are one God, so are you. You know why he died? Do you agree? To bring a new so you, you are also one God. covenant in blood. Pat, you're not listening. To transform us Pat. into his love. Pat, according to you Jesus, can be transformed into according, the to love Jesus of according to Jesus, Pat, he says, just as I and the Father are one, if that oneness was one of divinity rather than purpose, some, a, a, a Christian came along and he says, purpose. So this is what perhaps you need to rethink. If it one in essence and one in purpose, if, it, what is, if the oneness is in essence, Jesus and the Father is one God, that will make you and the disciples and everyone else who believes also part of God. But that's not what John is telling. John is not saying that you can all be God. No church academics have said that this I am the Father one means one God because they know the context. Few verses later, Jesus is using the same language. He says, just as I said earlier that I am the Father one, you will also be one. So that means Can that oneness. What he means by that? Do you agree now that oneness let is me, one of purpose? Let me say mine. Then. Okay. Well, the only way that we become one with the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Not one God, you mean? It, we become one with. We can. No, one God or one something we else. We can also, 
that you were saying, I pray that you all become one. It's not one God. When then. he came and died and rose again, the reason he died. Yeah, he's not dead yet, and he's risen again yet. The only reason why he did die. But he's not dead. Is to bring a covenant in his blood, and his covenant is that all who believes on him shall become one with them and in new life. So not God then. And we can be transformed. So thank you for clarifying into Pat. Into the love of Jesus Christ. So Pat, I really appreciate. Can be no, no. I really appreciate now clarifying that the earlier on when he said, "I am the Father" means one in divinity. You clarify that it is not about divinity. It's well, about one in purpose. No, no, I did, no, Jesus Christ is right. one with God. So in one in as well. No, not in divinity. Father, Son, Holy Spirit is, yes, I believe According in the to Lord. Jesus I Christ, in the, the only true God is the Father. Has Jesus anywhere else mentioned the only true God is the Father, the Son, and the Holy well, Spirit? Well, he said, I and the Father are one. And, and he said, I you believe. can also be one with and him he too. He also said, I tell you what else he said, when I go back to the Father, which he was raised to go back. Yeah. I'm going to send you the Holy Spirit, which he has sent. He didn't say, I'm going to send you the Holy yes, Spirit. Yes, he did. The he paraclete. says, I'm going to send. Ah, the paraclete. Do you, do you know what he said? No, you're going to try and make out that. No, no, that no. Listen, Spirit. Pat, he says, if I don't go, he will not come. Did he not say that? Well, he actually. Did he say that? He had to be ascended. Well, sorry. Did yeah. he not say that? Yes, yes. So if I don't go, he will not come. But yes. when I go, I will send him. Yes. But according to the Bible, the Holy Spirit was here every now and then, coming the and visiting. Holy Spirit so that but means he means, wasn't referring to the Holy Spirit, no, no, was he? He was going to send. Um, it cannot be the no, Holy no, Spirit. It's true. He was going to send uh, outpouring. Another a comforter. Outpouring to teach you. No, guess what? He was going to send it for you. You read it properly. He was going to send it for you to evangelize and spread the word and make people sons of God. Actually, and of God. The one, when he comes, and the Spirit of Truth. About but him. There was the the Holy Spirit of Truth was coming. The Spirit of Truth is coming to tell people you know about Jesus and the new covenant. No. Because he said you won't need spirit of truth, to teach you when the Pat, Holy Spirit comes. According to the New Testament, my spirit. the Spirit of Truth it's will Jesus guide you unto all the truth. He said it's His Spirit ascending. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit He's of He's going to guide you unto all the truth, yeah? The Spirit of Jesus Christ. Do you no agree? Human Do you agree? According to Jesus Christ, this yeah. spirit of truth will guide you unto all the truth. It's coming from Jesus and it's the spirit of Jesus. Whichever bring, way he's coming, it will guide you unto all the truth. The truth of Jesus Christ. No, the all the truth. Do you all know what he said? the truth of Jesus Christ. Do you know what he said earlier on? All the truth of Jesus I have Christ. many things to tell you, but you, are, you cannot bear them now. That means yeah. whatever truth the Holy Spirit or the spirit of truth or the paraclete yeah. rather yeah. will bring, is something at that time they could not bear the, the truth. Father, through Jesus Pat, Pat, to us. Remember, who earlier are, on, the Holy earlier on, is only for those who believe in Jesus. Earlier Christ, on, earlier on, we agreed that you are an intelligent person. We agreed, all of us. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm not bothered yeah. about whether you call me intelligent. Or not. <coughs> Excuse me. All I'm saying is this: Listen, Mancio. Jesus said that his, his, the, the Spirit comes from Him. The Father is sending the Spirit through Jesus. Can you give us one example so of the truth that the, that, that the paraclete has brought? That the Holy Spirit is coming, and it only coming to those who believe in yeah. Jesus Christ. So because so if you don't believe in Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit will not mm. come upon you, and that's what John's Gospel says. Sure. Okay. The, the, the paraclete, who's, which is going to guide you onto all the truth, which a truth is that is from pa Jesus. Pat, let's say this is the case, right? It is the this case. paraclete which is going to bring this all the truth yes. is something that Jesus could not reveal it to them then. He says, I could not tell you because you're not ready. You cannot bear yes, it now. So now, could you kindly tell, give me, could you now tell me five, five new truths that this paraclete has brought that Jesus did not bring? Because at that time, they were not ready for it. Well, listen, he's brought the fullness of Christ the truth is that no, once new we truth, become, new truths, okay, all truths. Once we become, son, uh, once we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord, we become children of God, and we can call Him our Father. See, and another truth, is that, that is not that is not something that is new. I want to know this paraclete, which is going to bring the new? the gospels. Were new. The gospels weren't written before a while Christ was Did alive. Did you not preach the gospel? 
the gospel was not What is the message of the gospel? The gospel came after Christ. Have you got a new gospel message? The gospel came after Christ. Sure. Didn't it? Do you have a new message in the gospel? New gospel that Jesus didn't we preach. Have the gospels now. Do you have a new have message? Jesus Do you have a new truth? That he was born of a virgin. That's already what the already was preached. And it was Something that needs to be to okay. born of a virgin. Said we don't need a man to teach us. Please, a Never. born of a virgin during the time of Christ. Didn't people know that he was a born of a virgin? Well, they weren't too. I don't know whether they're talking about it then because right. we didn't. We have want to know the new truth. For example, what is the best solution for drinking and driving, according to this party? Mm -hmm. But but that's the solution coming from Islam. No, that's the law of the land. That's not the law of the land. Law of the land is, you know what, if you can get away with it, that's fine. It's only when you can't get away with it, it's a problem. It don't matter whether you're Muslim, right. Hindu, no. or Islam, people still break the law. Islam, who, which is the finality of message from God, the final messenger that Jesus pro prophesied to God, no, brought the final, the final Message said, I am the alpha that you Omega, the should not drink. So now, so the best solution of drinking driving is not in the Bible. It's not from the Paraclete. Jesus said, "I am the truth and the life. I am the Omega. New, new I am the beginning. New truth and the end. New truth. And that's it. What is the new truth about marriage and divorce? If you have a Christian husband who is very abusive, very much violent, comes home every day and beats the hell out of the wife right this christian man listen christian Pat, won't do that. this christian, christian no i'm, I'm telling you that. this man Will a muslim do it? this man is a drug addict and he beats his wife punches her on the face and then and then he doesn't love her anymore but he doesn't fornicate he doesn't commit adultery and every day he comes home so every day he comes Today he comes and he takes two teeth out of his wife by punching her. Well, that's the not next day, is it? no, no, because he is very abusive. He's not a Christian. What made him out of Christianity? Christians get what? No, no. What did he do? The the sin, the the grave sin that is due, unforgivable sin that took him out of Christianity. Well, we don't know what that unforgivable sin really. Then is. you cannot say he's not a Christian. Because so the fact what? that the fact that he says I still believe in Christianity. He hasn't got the fruits I, of Christianity. Doesn't matter though. So can this woman get divorced from this abusive husband? Well, in the Bible actually, if he commits adultery... No, he doesn't. He I told divorced. you. He doesn't commit adultery. He doesn't commit fornication. He doesn't let... In fact, he doesn't have conjugal well, relationship. He but he husband. comes every day and really hits her, punishes her, punches her, and then breaks her leg one day, yeah, yeah. breaks her hand another day, okay. you know, and takes her out one yes. day. So now can she get divorced? She can leave him. And she can get divorced if she wants. According to the Bible, can she get divorced? Yeah, because he's abusing her. And no. There is, no there is nothing in, in the Bible that allows her to seek divorce and get divorced. There is she can become a Muslim and then get divorced. Is that what you're saying? So Islam provides the solution. So now tell me, how does she get away from this abusive husband? She leaves him. Hmm? She leaves him like anybody can else. Can she get divorced and marry someone else? Yes. No, she can't. Not according to the Bible. So the Bible does not provide you the finality of message from God, neither does the paraclete that you imagine is the Holy Spirit yeah, well, has not provided. No, what we're saying is, Pat, Pat, no, of course not. Pat, well, that's what, what we're, says. no, that's what you imagine. Right. What we are now re-establishing is Christianity, as well as the Holy Spirit, has not given you the practical solutions to problems of life. That means, that means when the, the paraclete who's supposed to bring the all the truth well, he has. has not come to yes, you in Christianity. You yeah, don't have him. Yeah, yeah, we do. We Christian. So Jesus, how does she get divorced Jesus now? Tell me. Is the fullness of truth. How does she get divorced? God is merciful. Does she have to do a, 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 adultery to get divorced? Well, no. Or does she have to of make his not. make her husband commit adultery of to get divorced? You don't have to. So now, how does she leave this abusive husband and she get married to someone goes, else? She leaves him and she goes and gets a divorce. No, not according to the Bible. Well, Jesus is merciful. Not according to the it? church. If she goes and divorces, if she seeks a divorce, she will be sinful according to Christianity. Yes, 
because you know what God forgives us. No, because there is no law you know, for her. The Bible, to, there is no law. I don't want sacrifice. I am merciful, and I do not want you to sacrifice yourself. Pat, what well, can we get? According to according well, to Christianity, to according to Christianity, right? according to the Holy Spirit, whatever it's brought, she cannot leave him, and she cannot get remarried. Yeah, well, That's where she is stuck at. The fact that you don't have a solution to this problem really should be an eye opener to you. No, Pat, yeah. think. You don't have a solution. Well, I'm not going to become a Muslim because then no, no. A what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, you don't have the solution. That means you do not you have do. the no, all I the can truth. I tell you now, 100%. If you're trying to claim Muhammad is a paraclete, it's strangely wrong. No, I am saying Muhammad, Muhammad peace be upon is him, the is the final prophet. messenger. No, 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 no. The no, messenger no. that everyone no, else talked no, about. No, no, no. Because Jesus said, "I am the Alpha and the Omega." That's the, the letters of the alphabet. That doesn't mean anything. End. The beginning. No, 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 no. Alpha doesn't mean the beginning. No other is to come after me. Out there, a false prophet. Did he say no other ones come yes. after me? Where no, did he say that? No. Where did he say that? Come after Where did he say that? Well, I'll have to find it. Pat, Pat, it doesn't exist in the Bible. Yeah, he does. You, you imagine. He is the last. You imagine it is he there. He is the last. He is the last no. covenant. Pat, a new covenant. You imagine it's there. A new covenant. You imagine it is there, but it's not there. I see what else says. So you imagine that he says he's the last. In fact, he says. You know what he, he says? He's the last. Do you know what he says though? He says, think about it, he says, I have many things to tell you. That means he hasn't told everything. He's the last. Was his message complete? Yes. No. And Not I, according to him. And you know what? Once he says, I have many things to tell you, but you cannot bear them. So that means he did not complete the message. Once you come to Christ. Do you realize, Pat? Jesus Christ did not complete his mission. Yeah, yeah. he said. According to his own statement. No, no. So he said, only true God is the Father. It complains you when it comes back again. Okay, can I? Listen, once you can come I? to Christ, I forgot what I was going to say. Pat, now, if you were the only, only, only female Christ. on planet Earth, can there be another female? Once you come to Christ, you're complete in Him. Complete in Pat, Him. Pat, Believe me, Pat, Masha, Please. If you, if you are the only female on planet Earth. And pray to Him and ask Him Look, for the truth. Can we just reason? If yeah. you were the only female on planet Earth, can there be a second female? No, I don't know. no. So if the Father is the only true God, can there be a second or a third? You see, that's the thing. There's only one Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Can there be another God so other than the Father? One. Can there be another no, God other than the Father? Please, Pat. Can there be another God, the true God, other than the Father? We've got Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You see, no you are not no. believing in Jesus. Believe me. You are rejecting what Jesus said. No, no. Jesus Christ said, the only true God is the Father. He didn't say the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He didn't say that. Jesus he the says, the only true God is the Father. The truth and the life. And anyone who comes to Him. Pat, just like if you're the only female on planet Earth, there your, cannot be another female. When you get home tonight, so, go on your knees and pray. To who? Say, Father to who? God, show me the truth. Sorry, to who? Father God, your Father. Who did Jesus pray to? You know, Jesus is our Father. Who did, who did Jesus pray to? Man and your Father. Who did Jesus pray to? Well, he communicated. No, pray to, pray to. No, no. While he was in the flesh on earth, he communicated to God through prayer. Like so he doesn't have a God. You know, we can communicate to the Father. Got you. I understand. Does, <coughs> does he have a God? Does, does, does yeah, Jesus have a God? It's his father. And no, 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 not father. Because he was his okay, son. let me ask you two questions. Do you have a father or did you have a father? I had an earthly father. Earthly father. Do you have a God? Yeah, my father in heaven. Good. When it comes to Jesus, does, does Jesus have a father? Yeah, father. Good. That's my first question. My second question. Does Jesus have a God? Okay, my second question. Well, you don't believe that, so I ask My second question. Does Jesus have a God? He has a father. Who is a father? No, no, no. Father, we dealt with it already. You've yeah, answered yeah, the question. Yeah, yeah. So we're not going to revisit that. Yeah, yeah, Does yeah. he have a God? Yeah, because the, uh, no, he, he is God. With the father. I didn't ask you, is he God? I'm asking you, does he have a God? No, he is God. So he doesn't have a God? He's the son of God. Okay, so does he have a God while he's the son of God? Well, why he is in the flesh? He, call, he speaks to his Father in heaven. No. Who is God? Pat, I want to ask you a direct question. Does Jesus, whoever he is, in your belief, does he have a God? Yeah, does he have a God? He has a Father. I didn't ask you that second time. The they first are. time I asked you, Pat, does he have a Father? You answered that question already. I've already explained, you see. So, my second question, I have two questions. 
first question is father and you answered that thank you very much second question jesus whoever you think he is does he have a god he is god okay so he so, has a so you're not answering this question do you know why you're not answering it directly yeah because i've told you this god is you know, do, no do you know why you're not answering it consubstantial together in in the bible in the new testament jesus christ says to mary magdalene wait you here hold he says what well, i'm gonna go go and tell my brethren that i'm going to my father and your father yeah, and and what? and i'm going to my god you know when he said pat that, pat please raised from the dead. Please, please whoever jesus is he says i'm going to my god and your god yeah. he is going to his so you're agreeing he was raised from the dead then, he's going he to who that to, when he raised he says i'm to going to my god yeah when the, so he he's going to his his what he came out of the tomb, didn't he? Ah, he's going to his what? He came out of the tomb. So sure. he's going he's to his going what? Back to his father. He's going to his father, and he's going to his. Well, I didn't see. It. Let's get the verse out, then. Got... That's good. So we can clarify exactly whether. Because my phone don't work. Okay, there you go. Anyway, it's better to talk now. So this is the reference. Oops. John 20:17. It's not ascended to his father. For I am ascending to my father and your father and my to my God and your God. My God. So is it difficult for you to accept that Jesus says he's going to his God? Well, yeah, because they they want. Remember, he he part Jesus is what you believe in, who you believe in. And he is telling you that he has a God. Pat, think about this. He is telling you he is going to his God. Yeah, and to our God. Does God have a God? Well, there, yeah. Because... Can God have a God? Yeah. How can God have a God? Jesus. Think about it. Jesus. How can God have a God? He's talking as the fleshly man. No, no. Whatever you think about it, who he is, this is coming from the host's mouth, from the, the speaker that you believe in. He is saying, I have a God. He's going back if to whoever God has God whoever God. whoever has a God, it's by definition, they're not God. Is ascending to God. Do you agree, Pat? Whoever has a God cannot be God. No, he is. So the Father, if the Father said, "I have a God," can the Father be God? He's got the full divinity of Christ dwelling in him. Does the Father have God? Does the Father have a God? Well, he's the Father. The Father does he have a God? No. Does the Father have a God? Well, he is the son, Jesus. No, please, please, please. Just like Jesus says <laughs> he has a... Just like Jesus says, I have a God. No, there's no one above the, the Father, you see. So, does Father have a God? That means... No, the Father... That means a God is a is being... the highest one. Thank you. That means God is a being who is the highest. Yes. Is Jesus the highest? No. They're equal, they're equal, they're equal. Well, they are equal. Is Jesus the highest? They are equal. But Jesus in the flesh... Is Jesus the highest? Jesus the highest? In the order, as Father, Pat, Son, Holy Spirit. You have agreed... God is the highest. And he doesn't have anyone above him. Give the full divinity to Brother, Jesus. one moment, please. Okay. Thank you. So what consubstantial Pat. with the Father. So they you are agreed, one. Pat. Amen, amen. Are you agreed, Pat. Let's rephrase it. God, he has no one higher than him. He's the highest. God is the but highest. We have them all consubstantial please, 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 please. together. I've the told Father, you that before. The Father, there is no one higher than him. But Jesus, there's someone higher than him. Because he's the son of God. That means he is not God. Because he's the son. son but he's he still also do you agree? divinity, do you, consubstantial with the Father. If you are, and they are one. If you are 100% yeah, exactly. divine. We've only got one God. Okay, can you help me understand this? We have to father, understand son. the relation Pat, between the Father and the Son. Son. That's what it is. Pat, the Father is always correct. Yeah, if you are 100% divine, can there be anyone higher than you? Well, I'm not 100% divine. Anyone who is 100% divine. Can there be anyone? Just, can there be higher than I anyone higher than them? You know what I heard once, and I think it's true. Without the Holy Spirit, anyway, you can't understand. Amen. It's so faith. when it comes to when it comes and to confusion in the religion, the, are we going to appeal to the Holy Spirit to save us? Well, you, you need to pray, and that's so. God for the so Holy you Spirit. realize the Father you can't get the Holy Spirit Pat, until Pat, you accept Pat, Pat, Jesus. Is the Holy Spirit the highest? The one, I keep telling you. Is he the highest? You cannot get the Holy Spirit without Jesus. I want to know between the Holy Spirit 
and the Son and the Father, who is the highest? They're all one. Who's the highest? The Father, I do believe. If the Father is the highest, that means the other is two the are not the highest. Of the whole. I thought Jesus is ahead of the That two. means that the other ones are lesser gods. No, Jesus is the vine and the Father is the gardener. Now let me explain that. Do you, do you really explain a wonderful thing for you? Explaining what? About how um, can how can the, you can have different levels of Godhead? No, that Father is the gardener and Jesus is the vine, and we get planted in that vine. You know, when we come to Christ, we get planted in the vine, which is Jesus. We get planted in there because you know what he said: when the Jews turned away from me and they couldn't keep the Ten Commandments because no one can anyway. Do you know them Ten Commandments? No one can keep them, none of us. That's why I sent So why did God give it? That's why I said... No, why did well, God give it if no one can keep it? it? start with to the Jews, I think. It wanted no, no, to no, make... No, let me finish. No, let me tell you the story. Pat, before no, you go please, on... Please, please. Go ahead. You no, know I can't talk long. Go ahead. My voice. Well, let me just get you don't need to briefly. Yeah, yeah. So, Jesus Christ got these Jews from the desert and he gave them the Ten Commandments. He took them out of Egypt, didn't he? He set them free. So he brought them into Egypt and he gave them the Ten Commandments and he wanted to create a certain people that were holy in, you know, or as holy as they could be. But he realised that they, they're still breaking the commandments because it's very hard to keep them. All through life will never keep all the commandments. There isn't one human being apart from Jesus. Anyway, so what... But what that's happened? a major Let problem though. Listen, listen. So we need to happened? revisit that. Let me tell you that. So, because he knew, because of that, and you know you okay? How are you doing? Let me finish with you. Do you know why he created that, that people to start with, the Jewish people? So that he's got someone in the line of David to send. Because, what it is, he sent Jesus to people that were trying their best to be holy and uh, people for himself. But he said to them, I'm sending Jesus now with a new covenant, which means that you don't, you still have to follow you still have to follow the Ten Commandments, but he said, if he said I've got a new commandment, which will cover it all anyway. Love one another. But if you're loving one another, you're not breaking them commandments to start with. But he said if you do break them, my son, I'm sending my son for a new covenant in blood. So that anyone who believes on him shall have eternal life and become a child of God. And we're coming out of the kingdom of darkness. So let's go back to the garden and the vine. Into the Example kingdom. that you started. We come out Are you of finished? Darkness. I have to finish the gospel. We come out of darkness. So if you become now a Christian, you'll call it what name Meaning you are. Meaning worshipping three you, gods. No, no. If you That's what Christianity is, right? Listen, forget, uh, you just listen me up. Okay. If you become a Christian, you can receive the Holy Spirit. You might not know you've got it. Who is less than God? Now listen. Mm -hmm. He, but he's the teacher, that's what it means. So the thing is, he will help transform your life and it's 100% true. He can deliver and you And then if you're a medicine. Christian woman, you yeah, have no solution I'm for divorce. You, listen, listen, listen. As Let we explain. Let me finish telling you this. I want to tell you this. You know, if you've got any sin in your life that's plaguing you, anything, that you're saying, God, I hate being like this or anything, you go to that cross and you kneel. And you kneel. You kneel to a cross. No, kneel Blasphemy. to Jesus. Polytheism. No, Kneeling to a man. Can I just please listen to me? Jesus no one's gonna do died that. on that cross. If you go to Jesus on the cross and picture him on that cross. And you know what the Jews used to do? They used to they used to kill a chicken. They probably still do. Put their hands on it for their sin to be forgiven. But you don't have to do that. You come to Jesus who died on that cross and you say to Jesus on that cross, close your eyes and say Jesus on the cross. Why would you and speak you to can, Jesus? Because it's very painful. No, why would you speak you to Jesus? To God, Jesus listen, is speaking listen, to his God. You say Jesus is in need of God, why are you speaking to a needy person? Forgive me for this sin. It's a very make sense. thing to do. It makes, makes sense. You know if you do that, you won't it sin It makes no again. sense. I'll tell you why it you makes no sense. If you put your sin on Jesus on that cross, it hurts. You won't sin again because you know you're hurting Christ. Mm -hmm. You're hurting him because he died on that cross. He shed his blood yeah. to make a new covenant in blood for us. Yeah. That anyone who believes on him shall not die but have eternal life. Sure. And not just that, so, even in this life, is that you the gospel? can be 
Is that the gospel message? Free of sin. Is that the gospel message? You can be delivered. Okay, is that the gospel message? That sin that besets you. Is this a gospel if you've message? Got a sin with pornography. No, is this a gospel yes. message though? Drinking. Perhaps. Yes, yes. Right. Yes. So here are the problems with this gospel message. Jesus himself, he says, I cannot of myself do anything. So he's kneeling on the ground, putting his voice on the ground and crying and worshipping God and saying, you know, let this cup be away from me. You know, yes. not according to my will, but according well, to your will. Yeah. Instead of it's worship, it's instead of you inviting people to worship the God of Christ, you're saying, pray to Jesus. Who did Jesus say to pray to? He said, not to Jesus Christ. Pat, this is where I find it that perhaps, perhaps you need to revisit the Quran again. Jesus Christ, he says, O oh, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, yes. thy will be done, holy thy kingdom come. Do, do you realize something, Pat? Do you know how holy God is? Pat, do you realize something? That's why you have to send Sorry, Jesus. sorry, Pat. What did Jesus say? Hallowed thy will thy be done. Thine is the kingdom Did forever and forever. Whose kingdom is it? Jesus or the fathers? Oh, thank you. Who is it? Thank Jesus you. or the fathers? The don't, kingdom don't, belongs don't to who? It's wonderful, don't. No, no. Who is the kingdom? Is holy God. Pat, it's now a crucial point. According to Christ, you should not pray, worship, or even supplicate to Jesus. Rather, the one who is in heaven that Jesus prayed to, he says, you are the only one. He said, you can ask uh, uh, anything uh, please, please, in please, my name, please, and the Father please. will do it. According to Christ, the one you should be worshipping is the one who is the glory and the kingdom, and thy will be done. That means, that means you are now affirming again, yeah. when Jesus says, I am going to my God and your God. Yeah. So you are calling people to the God of Christ. You know what so why don't you say it openly? We Christians are inviting everyone to worship the God of Christ. Did you say we Christians? No, no, you should oh. say that okay. Christians, as a Christian, you should say, we are inviting you to the worship of the God of Christ. Yeah, because you know what I've Jesus never heard a church individual, part, no, yeah. priest or, or, or I don't know, said, said that. You can ask for anything please, in please, please, my please. name. Have you ever said? You can say, Father, please forgive me in Jesus' name. No, 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 no. no. That's what you do you do you say from now on? I hope that you're going to tell people that I will tell you the gospel message is to worship the God of Christ, not Christ Himself. Well, Jesus said you can pray in my name. No, no. Who do you worship? That's what He said. But who do you worship? I can say, Father, I love no. you in Jesus' name. Amen. But who should you worship? I can pray for you. Do you want me who, to pray for you? Who should you worship? Please, Lord Jesus. No, Christians should worship who? Jesus or the Father, the God of Christ. Father in heaven, bless these people in Jesus' Right. Name. So, Amen. so you should say to people, we want Amen. you to worship the in God Jesus of name. Christ. Amen. Now, Hallelujah. this is something that we can agree on. Yeah. That you and I can call people to the worship of the God of Moses, and you God of Christ, and the God of Muhammad. Yeah, Peace be on the messengers of God. Jesus said that you can pray to the... Call him our Father. Well, who should you worship? Why don't you come no. to Christ? Who should you worship? You can then call the Father God. And you know what? He's holy. Listen, and listen, he listen. makes you holy. Do you know what God says about Aren't you those who are. Hungry for their love of now, because you've got a quote from the Quran, the, in the Quran you says, be hungry for the, love of the God. heavens and the earth is about to you know, split apart, destroy itself, because they ascribe a son to the most merciful. Jesus God Christ said, God. whosoever ascribes a partner unto God. Say God has a son. Jesus For example, Christ, now I want to I want to tell you the, the gospel message now. No, the gospel no, message. No, 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 Pat. Jesus is I want to share with like you the gospel Father. message. I want to share Peter. you the last gospel message. Show me one the last, the last, Pat. Jesus is without sin. Pat, please, That's why he's holy please. Like the Father. I just need 30 seconds of your time. Jesus I want you to, I understand. I want, you to, I want you to. I want you to listen to the last gospel message. No one else is. Are you listening? Was your prophet holy? No. Please. Jesus is the holy. Thirty one. seconds. The holy I have one. a message for you. The gospel, the last gospel message from God is this: Whosoever ascribes a partner unto God, no, that associates that a partner. What Jesus no, said. I will tell you where this is coming this from. Is your Muhammad. Last gospel message from God. Last gospel no, message. No, no, no. What Jesus, did I say is from the Bible? I am not saying I am not saying it's from the Bible. Quran, 
Quran is the last gospel message from God. Do you know what gospel is? No, 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 no. Gospel means good news. The last good news from God. God says, if you do righteousness, be male or female, you will be rewarded with paradise. Is that good news yeah, or bad news? It wasn't righteous. Excuse me. It wasn't holy. Anyone, like male Jesus. and female, if they truly believe you know and do righteous deeds, well, they will have no grief and they will have no problems. Yes. God will reward them. I tell you what God so, said. is that good news or bad please, news? Please listen, my dear. No, Pat. Pat. God said your One righteous acts are like filthy rags Pat. to me. Pat. That's what he said. Your righteous acts are okay. like filthy rags. It's true. So Jesus let's let's Christ. depart. Let's depart in common it's agreement now. Jesus Christ, you get the do you agree that not the only not being works, not what Pat, you do. Pat, do you agree the only being worthy of worship is God we and, and not Jesus? Do you agree? Our God is a holy God. Definitely. But do you agree you we should not we should father. not we should not call him brother? Do you agree? I call him my father. No, do you agree we should not call him brother? Who? God. I call him my father. No, no, do you agree we should not call him brother? We can if we want. So you can there. call God your brother? I can call him my friend. No, can you call God him your brother? Is a friend of can mine. you can you call him yes. Pat? You can't say How about that. your brother? Can you, you call him? Can you, you call can him? Can you call your God? Can you can you call can God you your me? mother? Can you call Allah your father? Please, please. No, but I, I want to establish Mary. one thing. I can call can Mary you Mary. can you call God your mother? I can call Mary my mother. Can you say, Oh mother God? Can you do that? Can you call God mother? I cannot. So God has mother. She is She's the mother, mother of Jesus. God. So yeah, yeah, God has mother. So God has a father and God has a mother. Mary is the mother of God. So God has a father and God has a mother. Jesus has a mother. No, no. God has a father and God has a mother. As you said, Mary is the mother of God, right? Yes, yes, mother yes. of God means there is mother and there is God exactly. and someone is the mother of that God. Hallelujah. So you believe God has... No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You, you... What did you say your name is again? Mansoor. I will pray for you every single day. Um, um, I appreciate that. But pray to the God of Christ. I'll pray that you get Pray to God of the universe. And become a great man of God. Oh, sorry. Why don't you pray to God of Christ? Into... The okay, of Christ. can you do one thing for me? Into the spirit of Christ, which Pat, is holy, Pat. beautiful. Sorry. You can have deliverance. Do you think it will be difficult for you to pray to the God of Christ? Some of these stupid churches. Can you pray to the God of Christ? I pray to the Father. No, through Jesus no, 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 no. Can you say, Oh, call God of Christ? Can you pray like this? I, always, I tell you how I pray. No, 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 no. I know how you pray. But can you actually say, Oh God of Christ? Can you address like that, God of Christ? I can say, I can pray to the Holy God through Jesus Christ, my Lord. So you need Jesus to go to Father. You can't go to God directly. So you don't have a direct relationship with God. So you don't have a direct relationship with God. Our God loves us. So you don't. Do you go to God directly or indirectly? I sometimes call him just Father directly. I talk right. to him. I even ask the Holy Spirit sometimes okay. to come help me. Right. Do you know what Father God said? He sent the final messenger, Prophet Muhammad. No, no, he's not the final messenger. He's the first prophet. Because Jesus... What do you know about him? And I'll tell you why I think that. No, no, tell me. What do you know because about him? Because he wasn't holy. But what do you know about him? He didn't show you a holy, the holy way that you like, were supposed to. Like what? Like Jesus did. What do you know about his he life? He showed you a holy, holy, holy Have you read about him? I don't want to talk about it. But have you read about his life? Because I respect your prophet. You said he's not holy and he's not a final messenger of God. Well, he so, was a man of flesh. So, so, but Jesus is a man of God. So how, he didn't sin. how are you rejecting so, the final messenger without knowing him? He's not a final messenger. You are Jesus saying you are respecting your messenger and you are saying... You are rejecting him without knowing him. Uh, I don't think... I know he's not my messenger because what do you know about him? of flesh. No, what do you know about him and his teaching? Can you give me five teachings of Prophet Muhammad or Muhammad alayhi salam? Give me five teachings that you consider maybe good. Only five. Oh, maybe good. I don't know. I don't know. So you don't know? I know a lot of bad ones, but I'm not saying them. Yeah, five, five good things that you think is good. So at least we know that you... I think he tried very hard to... Um, and in fact he was quite successful looking at the number of people. Man that I would say. The good, no, man. about his teaching, five good oh, teachings. Teaching. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Uh, the thing is, 
Would you like to know about some, some of his teachings? Do you know what he says about Jesus? Do you know what Prophet Muhammad said about Jesus? No, he said he did the Quran written. No, 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 no. Pat, Pat, Pat. Do you know what the Quran or Prophet Muhammad said about Jesus? Do you know? I can tell you. He says they're like brothers. Jesus is the mighty messenger of God. Jesus is more than a messenger. Please, please, please. I'm telling you about good things which you will agree on. He said, he said, please, he said, well, not, 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 not really him directly, the revelation that he brought, the revelation that he brought says about Jesus that Jesus was someone who is sinless, born of a virgin, a worshipper of God, truthful, righteous, no, remember, what Prophet Muhammad mentioned about Jesus and his mother. If you didn't know about it, then perhaps you'll have a wrong impression about Prophet Muhammad. Just because you don't know what he has said, perhaps that is no, the... You know do you have anything about Prophet Muhammad to give to Pat? I'll tell you what our Bible says. He yeah. said that certain or the prophet that comes after me, that's what Jesus no, no, no. said. According to Prophet Muhammad, do you know what he said? But Jesus said we, that every, everyone, what the Bible says about Muhammad, who was Jesus? The, you, know, you, you get the Quranic message about what the, Jesus is about. This is something really interesting for you. Jesus, Thank you very much. I um, appreciate it. What the Quran says about Jesus Christ is this. Jesus did many miracles to establish to people that he's a messenger of God. And Prophet Muhammad said, alayhi salatu salam, who, if you don't believe in all the messengers of God, if you don't have faith, if you don't believe in Jesus Christ as a prophet of God, you cannot be a Muslim. Do you know that? All I believe is the son of God. We have to love Christ. So I can't be a Muslim. Do you know that we have to love Jesus Christ? You can't be a Muslim. Yeah, well, Without loving him, I cannot even be a Muslim. So you, so you did not know that it is a requirement of our faith you know, that we have okay. to love him. You see, we have to accept him as a messenger of God. I love you, Jesus, every day. Hmm? Let's see what Jesus does in your life for you. Promise we, me you will say to him every we, morning, we I love you, Jesus. do not elevate someone other than what their station you is. Just said I love to Jesus. Give, no. So every day. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to. What is? Every day. Every day. Every day. Say that every day. Listen. I every day we tell him every day and see what he does Pat, in your life. But you're missing the whole point. You know why? And I love the him. one who is worthy of every Jesus moment of your life, the one who is worthy of your every moment of your remembrance, that every second that you should remember is not Jesus Christ. Is the one who created Jesus Christ. Is the one who created Prophet Muhammad. Is the one who created Moses. That is what you should remember every yeah, second of your life. Yeah, that is the, only no, the moment you say God produced. And <laughs> the only listen, listen. So every morning I love Jesus. Son. Promise me that and I'll go. The moment you say, the moment you say, you will say I love Jesus and I'll go. Everyone has to love Jesus. Everyone, Everyone has to love Moses. Love Everyone Jesus. has to love Abraham. This is a requirement of faith that we love our prophets. I love Jesus. Right. Do you love Moses? Particularly, it's just someone who wrote the Ten Commandments. Really? Do you love Abraham? I love Jesus. What about Abraham? <laughs> it's just someone I read about. Abraham is a friend of God. I don't know. Abraham. A friend of God. Yeah, but do you I, want to know I'm about a him? Friend of God. Do you, do you want to know about? Are you the same as the Abraham? I'm, yeah, because I'm in Christ now. So I'm just a putting on the Dawah Wise uh, microphone. Okay, so what yeah, we're thank doing you very now, much I'm for that. sure, are we saying yeah. goodbye? So what, what I was going to show you, when we talk about symbols, look, you see the sign here. Do you recognize the symbol? I do. Does anyone recognize the symbol? Yeah, I think I do. Yeah, it's Dawa Wise, isn't it? It is a sign of a YouTube channel called Dawa Wise. Yeah. If you haven't subscribed to Dawa Wise, this is mine and Hashim's channel. We have unique contents with a lot of information that you don't get from other channels. So subscribe to Dawa Wise. So when I'm talking about symbols, Jesus Christ often spoke in symbolic language. Do you know? Well, you know, let me tell you. Do something. you know that? Parables. He spoke in parables for a reason. Because he wanted to filter out, differentiate between the people who use their intellect and the people who don't. So because you, Pat, 
I am 100% sure you are an intelligent person. That person who came to somehow undermine your intelligence, you see how you left? He had to eventually go because he realized you can take your stand and you can speak and you can explain what you have to say. You did not even need him. You stood on your platform. Yeah, exactly. So what I'm saying is God has given us this intellect and we should use it. God did not use your intellect only to eat nice food and buy nice clothes and buy nice homes or whatever, but to know who is God and who God isn't. So that we worship not a banana or an umbrella or a human being, a black person like, like we should not worship a black person like Krishna or a Middle Eastern Palestinian like Christ or Moses or Muhammad. Or Muhammad. Peace be upon all the prophets of God. This is what we agree on. But we should worship the God of Christ, the God of Muhammad, God of Moses, God of Abraham. We have a lot of agreement now. So I hope. Do you have a copy of the Quran? Yeah, Please. You know what? I would really appreciate if you if you read about Mary and about Jesus in the Quran first and find out about God who speaks to you about who he is. And you say what I said. I love you, Jesus. We love Jesus. We love all the prophets of God. Right. It's only when you say, I love Muhammad, it's when we can be even closer. And pray they are God. Because holy, holy is his do you know? Do you know why? Do you know why in the final revelation God did not reveal his name as a father? Because people have fallen into the error of worshipping someone Sorry, worshipping someone, calling someone God, son of God, just because of this term, son of God and father God and so on. So this is all removed so that people don't fall into this error. God has all the most beautiful names, all the names, attributes of perfection belongs to him. Do you agree? The most loving one. God is the most loving. He's the most kind. He's the most just. He's the most forgiving. We agree. So it was a pleasure speaking to you, but we hope we speak again. That's okay. We hope we speak again. But in the meantime, I would like to discuss with you when you come back reading something about the Quran and we can talk further. I'll find something else. Of course. Of course. You take care. You take care. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.